So now we have to think about how do we actually deal with this? Because the biggest problem in this world is how do you implement all the security policies and rate limiting across all of these languages, across all the devices that they're deployed on? It just doesn't happen. We talk about it. And one talks about the bad part, though. The bad part is, and the truth is, you cannot successfully find libraries that do a good job with all the things you need to do in production in all of those languages. So what we're going to talk about is Istio. And what Istio attempts to do is figure out this next step. So Istio is pretty new. The technology it's built on comes from Lyft, the ride-sharing company. They have a tool called Envoy. And Envoy attempts to implement all of these production-ready things into a single application server that can run alongside your application. So what I'm going to do is try to demo this. Please demo God. <laughs> Be on my side. And we're going to try to step through what it's like in this world. Now, what I am going to do is get rid of this thing. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is say, show you guys a little bit what the world looks like for some people. So most people are running things that cluster managers and maybe using a platform as a service, and it has a bunch of nodes on them. Now, the goal is that we want to be efficient as possible with these nodes. So what we'll use is a scheduler to schedule our things onto them. So we're going to do that really quickly. So I'm going to make sure that I don't have anything running. So I'm just going to look at V1. So we don't have anything deployed. So I'm going to quickly deploy our application. And this is what most people are doing. This is pretty straightforward stuff. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be deploying my, my set of microservices using Kubernetes. All right, so what we're going to do is deploy our backend. We'll start with uh, my backend called bar, v1. We'll also do its other peer uh, called foo. And we'll also do the front end. Okay, so we're going to have these three pieces running. All right, so once those are in place, we'll see that they'll spin up pretty quickly in my cluster. So at this point, this is where most people stop. What about security? Oh, good luck. What about visibility? No metrics, no monitoring. You have nothing. So instead of going back and making everyone learn how to implement this across all the languages deployed here, we're going to adopt this idea of the sidecar. Now, the key here is we want to add all of this policy without having the dev teams have to rewrite any of the applications, because you've got better things to do than attempt to implement these things. So what we're going to do is add the sidecar on the fly. So of course we have to have Istio installed. So I'm going to show you everything in the, in the infrastructure. So Istio has integration with things like Zipkin for application tracing, Service Graph to show you how your dependencies match up together, and Grafana to show you what your metrics are. So let's go ahead and get this application with the sidecar in place. So what we'll do again, is we'll say kubectl apply, and then what we'll do is we'll have Istio do the work of injecting the sidecar. So kube inject. And then we'll give it the deployment again. So we'll do bar v1. And then we'll do foo. And then we'll do the front end. So at this point, we should now have our application set up. Now, you'll notice that the count went from 1 to 1 to 2 of 2. So we're injecting this sidecar directly in the application, side by side, no code rewrites, and no touching the existing application.